politicians, in the politicians, in the whole wide world, in the whole wide world, not the people's power, not the people's power. We're in tough times. Families are out of work. Small businesses are struggling. More people go without health care. At the same time, our state faces a budget crisis caused by the worst recession since the Great Depression. We are here today because we are going to restore the jobs that Wall Street destroyed. And you know, we can't do that. We can't create those jobs unless we fully fund our education system. And we can't restore those jobs unless we finally fully fund our health care system. We must look beyond politics and towards the future of our state. Thousands of us have worked hard to pass national health care reform. And we haven't given up that fight. We are going to win that battle. Health insurance reform at the national level will help fix many of the state's problems. Failure on health reform is not an option. We are not going to allow them to slash funding for health care, education, and other necessary services. Are you ready to send a strong message to our lawmakers? No more cuts. No more cuts! No more cuts! No more cuts! The time for courage is now. Brothers and sisters, today it is our turn to stand up. We have to stand up for the beaten down public service workers who deliver services to the state of Washington. We have to stand up for the citizens that we serve and protect. We have to stand up for the vulnerable, the elderly, and for our children. It's about all of us in this state as a community. Or as the late Hubert Humphrey said, the moral test of a community and a government is how we treat those in the dawn of life, our children. How we treat those in the twilight of life, our elderly. And how we treat those in the shadow of life, the sick, the needy, and the handicapped. So let's do the hard work here in Olympia and then on to November and let's win.